Hi, in this video we will have a look at how to isolate compromised VMs with Security Center in Azure. So here as you can see we have a VM, a virtual machine in Azure, I have a domain controller, controller running on it, that's why it's called my DC. It seems to be running fine, has a public IP address that you could use to RDP to it. Uh, that's, uh, we will go back to, the, to why that's important. And uh, under networking, you can see uh, some security properties, some network security properties from the VM, such as um, how you can access to it. And as you can see, um, there's a rule to allow for remote desktop protocol from any IP address out there. Actually, the way we defined this rule wasn't um, statically, but dynamically through a concept that uh, I showed in a different video in which you can define dynamic policies. For example, in this one, um, we define a policy that says, please allow remote desktop protocol to all my Windows VMs. And that will be uh, what a Windows VM is, uh, will be calculated dynamically. The same way we can um, defined, define a group for VMs that have been compromised. This is what we are going to, 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 to do here. I'm defining the group. Now we'll define the rules that control which VMs belong to, belong to that group. And for this we will use um, ARM tags or Azure tags. So we will have a tag called compromise. And whenever that tag is set to yes, we will um, uh, put that specific VM under the compromise group and then we will apply our uh, our policies. Right, so I'm defining here the, the rule so that whenever the compromise tag is there and it equals yes, then we will have a compromise VM. And now uh, we, can def we can further define our policy. So for example, as uh, maybe you still remember, we had one for allowing uh, RDP to Windows machines, another one for allowing SSH for Linux machine, but we will bring a, an additional rule in front of those, so with a lower sequence number, where we will deny all traffic for VMs that are compromised, effectively invalidating the uh, permits that come after that. So in this case, we will deny all TCP ports, and this is what it looks like now. All right, we have our policy, but still it's not in effect. Why? Because we haven't set that compromised flag just yet for any for any VM. We will do this uh, flag setting, this uh, tag setting with Azure Security Center. Um, so with Azure Security Center, there's a new feature currently in preview where you can run certain actions upon certain alerts. We will have now a look at the alerts that I have in my Azure Security Center. Um, so this is what it looks like in Azure and, and, and in the menu panel. Uh, you can see there are some, some alerts. Um, there's different ways how you can come to that screen. I will use this menu there, security alerts. And as you can see in this screen in a second, we have um, some security incidents going on. More specifically, if we have a look at the first one, so you might remember that I had my RDP uh, rule open for everybody, and it looks like that somebody has been trying to hack into my, my domain controller with brute force attacks. Now, there's this button in um, Azure Security Center that allows me to um, execute some predefined remedia remediation actions. In this case, we will um, just uh, run this playbook, which is nothing else than a predefined logic app. And this playbook will do two things. It will set the compromised tag to yes, so that my dynamic policies now apply, and it will uh, update the, uh, the NSGs that are dynamically generated upon that policy, upon that security policy. As you can see now, this is what the logic app looks like. Whenever a response in a security center, national security center is triggered, one, set the tag, and two, recalculate the dynamic NSGs. Well, that's essentially it. Now we can go back to our virtual machine and have a look at the tag to, to verify that it's, it has been properly set and to have a look at the um, recalculated network security groups. 
So first, uh, first things first, that was the first action of the logic app setting the tag. So when it loads, that's still uh, the properties, the overview. There you go, that's a tag. Compromised equals yes, then there's another tag which is not relevant for the purpose of, of this demo. And now we under networking, this um, this is something new if you didn't know it, where a new panel where you can see all network attributes, including the network security groups. If you see the first entry with priority 100, there that's there, our deny any any. So now if you try to RDP into our domain controller, you will be denied by this access control list. Well, that was it. I hope to like it and thanks for watching.